the Aladdin All In series. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble the Aladdin All In. So here we got two kits, the All In 1 and the All In 2. Today we're going to assemble the All In 2. The light comes in uh, two different um, versions, an All In 2 bicolor and an All In 2 bicolor plus RGB version. The same for the All In 1. The kit always comes with a soft pack and in the soft packs you will find an extension cable, a battery power cable, D-tap, accessory pouch, a power supply with power cord, a diffuser, a double ball mount, the expander to hold the panel, and in this case the all-in-2 Bicolor plus RGB pack. Comes in a light, nice little protection pouch. So let's put the soft case on my side. I'm going to show you how to assemble the panel. So if you want to use the panel, we have different mounting options. So standard is the expander that comes in the kit. Or you just take Velcro, stick it to a surface and use the um, Velcro to hold the panel, for instance in a car, elevator or in other narrow spaces. So the panel is very lightweight and highly flexible. So to give it a, a straight setup, we use the expander. The expander uh, goes together with the double ball mount, so I unscrew the front screw and I insert this through the hole in the center and it has a locking position. Important in this step is that the corners are pointing to the back. You're going to see for what this is important in the next step. Lock down the screw to hold this. Then I go on the little pockets on the corner of the panel. I have little pockets or I even have like eyelets to uh, put a rope through. But in this case, we're gonna use the expander. So I go into this pocket. And that's important why they have to point in the back. So they are straight on the panel. And they always go across. So one corner and the other corner. So now put this on a light stand. Fix it. And here you see our double ball head gives you even a bigger uh, angle to tilt down. Now to power the light, since we don't have any external dimmers anymore and it's everything controlled by your smartphone or with the built-in controls, we have one option, power supply. So I either plug in straight to this little box or use the extension cable in between. But for now we're going to go with the battery option. Same thing here. Either plug in directly to the box. In this case, I'm going to use the extension cable. There we go. So grab a regular V-mount battery with a D-tap output or you will need an additional plate to power it. But most of the V-mount batteries, they have a, a D-tap out. So there we go, and it's running. So now I got rudimentary controls on the back of the panel for power, color, and um, Kelvin. So for now, I take the accessory pouch, drop in the battery, hang this to my stand. And now I'm going to mount the um, diffuser to it. To mount the diffuser to it, uh, with the expander, I drop out the little arms over the corner. In the back, grab the including diffuser. And this one goes over gently over the little arms. So the little arms are important in this step. So they provide... Um, more stretch to the fabric and gives a little distance to the panel. So what I do, I always put the Velcro on the back so get rid of spill light. So now we have the diffuser 
We use the diffuser to um, um, have a better distribution of the light, to have better reflection on the object, or even for the actor, it's uh, more comfortable to look into the light source. So that's the basic diffuser, but if still for you, the, uh, you see too many LED dots and the distribution of light, the diffusion of light is not enough, we offer an accessory called the softbox. So the softbox will fit on the expander too. So the softbox is an um, optional accessory. So we have one here. So I take back the little arms on the sides. And the, the softbox attaches by Velcro to the panel. So again, that's the basic softbox from Aladdin. So this one will work with the All-in-2 and the Biflex, one, uh, Biflex 2. There we go. I used to put these little corners around so it holds a little bit tighter to the softbox and gives me more stability. So, we have a diffuser comes with the softbox. The diffuser is slightly bigger than the uh, regular diffuser that goes onto the panel. And it offers me a um, way better um, distribution of light in front without any LED hotspots. So, if you do product shoots, with high reflection, where you see everything, you will need the softbox to have a better light distribution. Then, uh, to have more control with the softbox, we offer a grid for the softbox. So, what does the grid? The grid actually, let me dim it a little bit up. There we go. So, the grid prevents um, spill light on the sides. So when I put the grid onto the front of the uh, softbox, it narrows down the light beam and gives me more control of lighting. So I can separate the object from the background. Yeah, in the following videos, we're gonna show you how the remote on the back works, how the app works, and how the external remote works.